Main Street in Medford looks like many rural communities. Home to the Taylor County Courthouse and is surrounded by farm country. Medford is fairly rural. So maybe it's not surprising when you walk into Lisa Cop's high school class that you find this. You have a chick right now. Can you perch it on your finger? You can see how they have a desirable instinct to just want to perch. I did not grow on a farm. Ever since I was little, I had a really big passion for animals. Chicks are flock animals, right? It's a passion Lisa passes on to her students. And most of them didn't grow up on a farm either. Now of a class of 25 to 30, only about two to three kids are still on that production farm. So youth, even in this rural community, are almost two generations removed from that farm. Putting these kids back on the farm is just steps away from their traditional classroom. All right, hey you guys, let's go to the barn. It's a really fun thing to be able to come to school and know that, hey, you're going to the barn today. This is the Medford High School barn. They're expected to be over here when class starts and they get back to the building when their next class starts. We have chickens, a calf, pig, sheep, rabbit, and one cat. They're very uh, comfortable with us. Hi. There you go. Loosen it and get around her two ears. Lisa saw the problem. If we expect farmers to continue in this next generation, we need to teach them. Good job. And the solution. Good girl. We need to show them what tasks literally need to be done to be that farmer. This is our bull calf we hear, have here at school. It's more engaging for students to learn if you actually have the animal. And this barn is engaging. I can put some more feed into here. Good job, girls. They have to collect eggs every day. Chickens, they lay eggs about every two days. And we need to go collect those. We sell those at school. They get a grade for doing chores. It's part of their class expectations that they wear rubber boots and they get in there and use a pitchfork and they feed them, they water them, they move them around, they lead them. You walk them down the road, stretch his legs a little bit. It's a lesson most of these students won't get at home or anywhere else. This project is extremely unique. There are not a lot of schools that have a farm. So the farm itself is run by high schoolers. It's owned by the district. As the number of Wisconsin farms continues to dwindle, Lisa sees this hands-on classroom becoming all the more important. And just get used to that being on your head. Yep, so if you want to put it on your feet. We consume vegetables, we consume meat, and do you know where your meat's coming from? We need to show the students that, hey, some of these tasks, raising sheep, raising pork, raising beef cattle, you can do on a small scale at home. So this is Marvin, he's a red and white Holstein, and he is growing really well. There are so many life lessons that can be learned on a farm setting, and I'm trying to replicate that farm setting here in this school farm. If one barn is good, two barns must be better. We're building a new barn where my classroom will be next year, so we're gonna have to already expand the barn that we just finished building because of the student numbers going up and the demand for an, another egg teacher. And can you see how over time now the lamb, you know, just kind of getting it, learns to not fight it, it's relaxing a little bit more. Lisa sees it as securing the future for farming and the community that rallied around her dream. Oh my gosh, the Medford community has been so helpful. And they do see the need for this education because a lot of the youth are not on the farm. They're not thinking of these career paths in their future. I actually donated six pigs to this project because I feel strongly about it. I'm really happy that she made it happen. She's such a huge role model. It's for our next generation, and if we don't show them how to do these things, they're not going to do it.